Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be reviewing this, the Red Chili Voltage Lace Climbing Shoe. Aggressive, soft and as precise as a laser guided missile. So this is actually my Red Chili Voltage climbing shoe. Red Chili sent it to me uh, somewhere at the beginning of December and I've been wearing it ever since. I take this stuff really very seriously. I want to give you guys the best advice possible and so I wear them all the time when I climb so that I can properly get an idea of how they work. Now although Red Chili have sent them to us, everything that I say on this show is my opinion. Now I've got a history with Red Chili climbing shoes. They were my first pair of climbing shoes. I had a pair of Durangos, I think they were called, and I absolutely loved them. They were comfortable, they felt great, and they completely fell to bits within a couple of months. And since then, I've been a bit reticent with Red Chili. I know they do quality shoes, but it's the durability of them that I've always heard can be a bit iffy. So I was excited to try this new style of shoe and hopefully it will stand up better than my first Red Chili attempt. Red Chili's motto is that only climbers know what climbers need, and that is the ethos of the whole company. It was started by pro climber Stefan Glovach about 20 years ago, and from there they've gradually built up their knowledge and skill base. Recently, Red Chili was bought by Edelred, who have sort of reinvigorated the brand, and we're seeing new models come out of Red Chili in the last couple of years. Now this Red Chili shoe, the Voltage, is a take on the previous Voltage, but the previous Voltage was a Velcro version and this is a lace version. You can still buy the Velcro version and they kind of complement each other in different ways. The idea is that the Voltage lace has a similar feel to the Voltage Velcro, however the Voltage lace is a little bit stiffer and has a bit more support through the midsole. Therefore this is really aimed more towards the sport climbing multi-pitch market, whereas the Velcro is designed more for boulderers, but we'll talk about that crossover a little more in a bit. The sole is Vibram's XS Grip 2 rubber and you'd think that would make it a super soft sticky shoe and it does, but because of the slightly thick thicker thickness of the rubber, it is actually very good for standing on small edges and won't roll too much. Now Red Chili are known for being comfortable shoes. For example, they've got leather patches in the toe bed itself that mould and sort of fit to your individual toes so it feels fantastic when it's on your feet. The toe box has a thin lining to help with comfort and also to prevent the upper from stretching too much. There's a very simple, nice, basic but works really well heel patch on the back and a nice generous toe patch on the front with these little ridges in it. Being a lace shoe, we've got to talk about the lace setup in this. It's an asymmetrical design and it can work easily as one big pull to tighten everything up or you can make small little individual adjustments to the lacing system. So comfort, precision and slightly stiffer than that Velcro version, this is, it should be a sport climbing weapon. So what did I think about it? Well, first of all, it hasn't fallen to bits. All my concern about durability have been unfounded. I got sent this shoe and started wearing it at the beginning of December. It's now at the beginning of February. And because I've been doing this lattice training plan, I've been climbing about four to five times a week and really been going at it hard. So the fact that such a high-end performance and let's be honest, soft shoe has stood up this well is super impressive. There is a slight hole developing on the left-hand side at the toe which could be down to my bad footwork, but I have a feeling that that's probably one of the weak points in the shoe and that's where it's going to start to go through. But honestly, high end, it's, it's done exactly what you'd expect it to do, so that is super impressive. Where I've struggled with the shoe a little bit is the concept of something being this downturned, this soft, and yet a lace-up. 
Now generally, if I go for something downturned and soft, it's going to be mainly for bouldering or short, really hard sport climbing routes. And the idea of that lace system where you have to do it up and undo it between climbs is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't take that long to do. And as I said, this is designed at sport climbers. Now, although it is a bit harder and a bit sort of more rigid than the Velcro version, it's not that much harder. This isn't one of those super stiff edging shoes. Think 510 Blanco, for example. If you're looking for a flatter shoe that's going to allow you to stand on small edges and support your foot through big multi pitches, this isn't for you. It's just not designed for that. This thing wants overhangs. It wants hard roots where you're putting your, head, your foot above your head and you're wrapping that softness onto the hold. And that's where it's going to really excel. My only real criticism with this lace system is that the laces themselves come undone really easily. And I know you're going to be saying just do a double knot, but again, if you do a double knot, it's going to take even longer to take your shoes off. So I stick with a single knot, but there's something to do with the texture or something in the string of the lace itself that means they just come undone a little too often for my liking. But this could be one of those personal preference kind of things. As I said at the beginning of the show, this shoe is stupidly precise. And let me explain what I mean by that. Being this downturn and aggressive, you're expecting it to be able to hit a hold really, really precisely and accurately. And that's because of that downturn nature, forcing all the power and precision into one place. Because it's a slightly stiffer shoe, you'd expect it to roll off small holds, but actually it's the complete opposite. This XS Grip 2 rubber from Vibram is wonderful at staying on a small hold. So it guides it in, it stands on something small, and then that slight softness almost sort of bends the shoe into that tiny little hold and it just stays. There isn't a huge amount of science in my opinion on this one. I've just noticed that when I'm putting it on small things, I just stand there. It, it's almost uncanny. And that has been my favorite thing about this shoe. The profile is interesting. It kind of forces my toe down into the toe box and it really puts a lot of pressure through your toes. It's something that you need to get used to and I don't think that everyone is going to love that style, that aggressive fit. But for me, when I'm using this shoe, I'm doing hard stuff. I want everything to be down into that toe box section. So it's a feature that personally I really like. Sizing wise, I'm a UK 8.5 slash 9 and this is a UK 8 and I did slightly get the sizing wrong on it. UK 8 is generally my size for performance shoes, but I do wish I'd gone half a size up just because my toes are uber crimped in this thing. You do get used to it. It does soften up but half a size up from where I would usually base my shoe level would have been perfect for me. I really enjoy using the heel. I found there's a trend recently to put lots of fancy stuff on heels, like little hooks and 3D modules and stuff. And that works great if you get a precise fit. But how often do we get a precise fit on the heel? This thing is just a heel that works very nicely and that's all I need and I like it and that's all there is to say about it really. Toe patch wise, those ridges do help for grip. I love a wodgy toe patch if you've ever seen me review anything before. And this has got the wodge factor. Wodge it in and it stays where it is. Absolutely wonderful. I really enjoy that. But it does open up this conflict thing, which is, is this a sport climbing shoe with bouldering credentials? Toe patch, downturn, soft, blah, blah, blah. Or is it a dedicated sport climbing shoe? Well, I've actually been using it mainly for bouldering because most of Chamonix's crags are under snow at the moment. And as a bouldering shoe, it's absolutely excellent. It's not too stiff. It is soft. It has that cutaway midsole that means it bends a little bit. So I don't think it really is just a sport climbing shoe. I kind of think it's a bouldering shoe if you prefer laces and you can do laces up better than me. I think the Voltage is a dedicated shoe. So if all you do is boulder, then go for the Voltage Velcro. But if you do a little bit of sport climbing, a lot of bouldering, and you want something this aggressive, then that's the climb, kind of climber who's going to be buying this shoe. This is by no stretch of the imagination a beginner's shoe. It's got a premium price, around about 135 euros on the Epic TV shop at the time of filming this. And because of that aggressiveness, it's just not aimed at beginners. It's aimed for a climber who really knows the kind of shoe they want. They've got it sorted. They either like bouldering, sport climbing, whatever it is, but you need to know a little bit about climbing to look at a shoe of this kind of quality and caliber. 
So there you go, that's my opinion. I've really enjoyed wearing it. I'll be sad to see it go. And apart from the laces that will not stay done up, I think it's an absolutely quality climbing shoe. So thank you very much, Red Chili. Guys, you know how this works. You've been wearing this shoe as well. Do comment below and let me know what you think of this shoe. And there's a link in the description below if you wanna pick one up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.